Hi, this is Galit Goldfarb and welcome to my Gorilla Life Coaching videos. Five times a week I talk about a quote that helps you move your life to a better, healthier and happier place for you and I hope you gain a lot of value from these videos. So how are you doing today? I hope you're in a listening mode because today our quote of the day is all about active listening and its importance uh, as a communication skill. So the quote of the day is, to say that a person feels listened to means a lot more than just their ideas get heard. It's a sign of respect. It makes people feel valued by Deborah Tannen. With this quote, we go back to improving our communication skills, which are so important in life and of course in helping us reach our goals. The reason communication skills are so important in helping us reach our goals is because we do not live in isolation. Well, at least most of us don't. <laughs> we are connected with other people and we need other people and their skills and gifts to help us reach our goals. <clears throat> we need people to teach us new skills, to help us form new connections and for support throughout the process. Also, when we are there for other people in different ways, we also bring about our purpose and this sharpens our understanding of how we would like to live our life. We need people and in order to bring people closer to us, we must show them respect and show them that they matter and that they are heard and also have them respect us. And the best way to achieve this is by actively listening to them. I studied conflict mediation as part of my own personal development. And the program taught me a lot of important skills. One of the most important skills learned was active listening. Active listening is a major part of conflict resolution and equally important for coaching. But it is also so important in, for everything in life. Giving people a place to be heard without judgment is sometimes all that is needed to move a person to a place that they understand themselves better and, and understand their behaviors better. Active listening opens both the listener's heart and the person being heard's heart. It allows for a safe place for emotional expression. Active listening also helps to see what drives people, what is important to them, and what their needs really are. And this helps avoid a lot of misunderstandings and encourages connection and sometimes even collaboration between people. As I mentioned in a previous video about a person's version of reality, we all see uh, life differently because we interpret situations differently. Active listening opens the listener's uh, side up to the reality of the other person, the person who's talking. When we actively listen, we are also opening, open to learning new things because when we listen actively, we are open, we are not defensive, and we are not ready to negate the other person's words. We are open and listening. Also, when we listen actively, it means that we are fully present in the moment, not planning our next steps and not our next words, not our next anything. We are there in the moment, listening and absorbing what is being said, what is also, but also what is not being said and the way things are being said. That's right, active listening involves noticing much more than the words that are being said. So how do we listen actively? Well, this skill is so important. The first step is, as I mentioned, you cannot truly listen to anyone while doing anything else at the same time. So you must be completely present. Your phone needs to be on silent and, and you don't, and you should have little or no distractions around you to give the other person your full attention. Secondly, you must be silent and listen. When you listen, you want to express interest through direct eye contact and having your body face the other person. You may want to nod when you empathize with what they are saying. In other words, your body movements also show an interest in what the other person is communicating to you. The third step, after you have listened quietly and attentively, you may have questions to ask to get clear on the things that were said. 
This is fine so long as the questions asked do not come from a place of judgment, but rather from a place of curiosity. You truly want to understand them better, and this is why you want to ask questions. For example, you could ask, what brought you to do this, uh, rather than asking, why did you do it? Asking uh, what brought you to do it is asking from curiosity, while asking why did you do it is quite judgmental. It means what was going through your mind doing such a thing. <laughs> this is how they will probably interpret such a question. The questions you, you ask should also be open questions, meaning that you are asking questions that can't be answered with a simple uh, short answer of yes, no, or something uh, of the sort. Open questions can only be answered with a free form answer. An example of an open question is, what did you enjoy or not enjoy about this show? Rather than a closed question that would be, did you enjoy the show? Which would, they would have a, a simple answer of yes or no to that question in most cases. This way of communicating is uh, through active listening is definitely more challenging and takes more effort from the listener's uh, side. And this is why it is known as active listening. You are active. You are not just sitting there and being quiet. You are actively listening. But the rewards are so great. You learn about the other person in much more depth. You learn why they do what they do. And in this way, you can see uh, their grander picture in the background, you understand their bigger picture. Now let's move on to the fourth and last stage of active listening, and this is the confirmation of understanding stage. In this part, you want to summarize concisely the facts that they said to you to make sure that you got everything right. You don't add your own things or interpretations about what was just told. You just repeat everything that they said in a very concise way. You basically summarize their words, and this helps them Feel that you emotionally felt them and that you understood them. I truly recommend you try uh, active listening out. It is a very important skill and you will get better at it the more you practice it. You can practice it with everything, with everyone, with the, your, your children's teacher or in any, any position you are in the supermarket, with anyone really. An important facet of uh, Nelson Mandela's leadership was his willingness to listen and learn which he said he learned from his father. This skill allowed him to become South Africa's first black head of state elected in a fully representative democratic election. And he attributes his success to his listening skills. Whenever you have a conversation with a business partner or a friend or a colleague at work or a lover, Try to put active listening to the test and you will see how it makes your relations, your relationships much more deeper and fulfilling. And it will certainly help you reach your goals faster. Because as Hemingway wrote, a man alone ain't got no bloody chance. You need other people around you to succeed. And the best way to get others on your side, much better than persuading them, is first and foremost listening to them and understanding them and what is important to them. Understanding a person's needs will help them bond with you. It will help you bond with anyone. So as I always do with these videos, I will provide you with a question that you want to ask yourself to move your life to a better place for you. And the question of the day is, with which people is it important that I improve my communication skills to understand them better? So ask yourself where you can use your listening skills, your new listening skills, and try to use it practically with anyone in the beginning so that you have more practice. As usual, I recommend writing this question down and your answer to it in a notebook that you have especially prepared for these coaching sessions so that you can look over them uh, from time to time and see how your life is improving and how you can improve your life as well. So let's finish off with the affirmation of the day, which is, I am an active listener making great bonds with the people around me. I am an active listener and making great bonds with the people around me. Now tell this affirmation to yourself as many times as you remember to do so because an affirmation has the power to completely transform your consciousness, which will help you behave differently and in a better and happier way for you and your life. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. 
please also subscribe to my channel and ring the notifications button so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. Also, please visit my website, The Gorilla Diet, for anything to do with your wellness and your health. Thank you very much for joining.